Cars.coza. Hi guys, I'm Carlos Nuguera and um, this is my rig, Pumba 76 Land Cruiser. Take it as it is. I had Hilux before this and I've always wanted a solid axle vehicle because the weight carrying capability is a bit better than the IFS and you know the aspect of flexing and carrying weight and just being a live axle was one of the benchmarks or one of the things that I just wanted out of a vehicle. I was actually searching for months for the right one and it was before this whole inflation where Land Cruisers got so stupidly expensive. I actually came across this one in What's the place called in Springs in Gauteng? And they wanted a stupid amount for it because it was some toppies. I had a few dings and dongs on it. So I phoned up the guy, I said, Listen, yeah, do you still have it available? He's like, Yes. I said, Okay, I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> Drove down to Joburg, picked the vehicle up, and that's how it started as a blank white canvas Land Cruiser 76. One of my long, long time mates, Hannes from the Marva. We've always been into the outdoors. We grew up together on the farm. And um, as we grew older, we still wanted to be in nature and the overlanding vehicle just gave us a capability to get out there and get off the grid basically and still wheel and do the things we like to do. My worst memory, that's a hard one, it's all been good. There hasn't been a dull moment. I've had breakages before, um, CVs, and I've actually bent the left front wheel, the axle itself, to a point where you can't pull the shaft out without completely destroying the inner seal but that's all good memories there hasn't been bad memories with it hasn't broken down everything that has broken is because of my own stupidity i think it was probably after the respray and everything got done to it and i added the 37s was just taking it out and actually enjoying it for the first month or two it was just it was a completely different animal and every memory since then has just been amazing it hasn't broken down yet as I haven't broken CVs again, um, I have started to drive very cautiously, so that's one of the main reasons, but it's all good memories. The most important modification on this vehicle. I would say it's a suspension mostly. At the rear, I've done a spring over axle conversion because the Land Cruisers are known for actually dragging the spring hangers in the ground and mud and it gets hung up on anything. So moving them up has drastically changed the, the way the, the vehicle handles and the characteristics of the vehicle. It drives so much softer, uh, it's, it's got much better uh, flexing, it's uh, more stable on the road and then that combined with long travel shocks and uh, hyperflex superior engineering arms in the front just makes it a very capable rig. Best and longest trip is the trip that I'm mostly on at the moment from Palabora to the Western Cape. That's about 2000 kilometers then we went with a bunch of good mates of Dieter and a bunch of other good friends to the Tankwa and they showed me around over there. I've never experienced any of that in my life. I'm used to bush and forest and river driving and just getting out there and seeing a Tankwa or Karua sunset is it's unbelievable. Yes, this car is not 100% overlanding vehicle. I'm not that much into very long trips off the grid, although the vehicle is capable of that and it is kitted for that. Um, I'm more into short, short tracks and a bit more technical tracks. The reason that it is built the way it is is mostly for the wife to accommodate the wife and the little one. If they don't have the luxuries of home, they don't want to come with. Well, my dream is to actually do coils in the rear. Um, nothing gets to coils, but it's, it's such a huge engineering undertaking that I, I've put it off until now. But it is definitely something I'm looking at in the future. The color over white. There's a funny story behind that actually. Um, I put the vehicle on its side and they had to be spread for me because most of the panels were damaged, scratched or anything. So it was close to a complete respray. So the day I went to the panel beaters, I had this thought in my mind asking, they basically have to spray each panel, can't we just change it? So I might say, yeah, it's fine, just come choose a color. So 
So I go to the panel beaters, I'm going through the color swatches and this, this color just draws my eye. It sticks out like a red between black and I just said spray that color and I haven't looked back since. Thanks very much for watching. If you've just watched this video but you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, you absolutely should do that immediately right now. Click the subscribe button. It's a good idea for a bunch of reasons which I actually don't have really a lot of time to go into. But it's good. It's a good idea. Excellent. Thanks for watching. I said that already. Dream, search, drive. Cars.coza.